Hi, Sydney. I thought that a video uh, might be a little bit helpful, or more helpful in answering this question. Uh, allow us a little bit uh, easier to visualize uh, the setup in this problem. So here I've set up the square with uh, side lengths of S, and we have uh, three identical charges, one, oops, uh, one, two, sorry, one, two, and three in the corners with a charge of positive 3.1 microcoulombs. And here we have our unknown charge four, uh, which is which will have to be negative. So I've given it a blue color. Recall that the electric force is given by K times uh, the product of the two charges over the distance between those two charges squared. So we have K Q1 Q2 over R squared. And because the charge uh, in the corner opposite our unknown charge four, in this case charge one, is stationary, we know that the sum of forces on that charge uh, must be equal to zero. So we can further say that the sum of forces in the x must be equal to zero, and the sum of forces in the y direction must also be equal to zero. In this problem, I've labeled positive x being to the right and positive y towards the top of the page. So with all of this in mind, we can uh, bring our attention, let's say, to the sum of forces in the x direction. So we'll draw an FBD of charge Q1, right here in the top left. The force that charge 3 exerts on 1 will be directed in the negative x direction, straight to the left. The charge that force 2 exerts, or the force that charge 2 exerts on charge 1 will be in the positive y direction, as uh, I've drawn. And the uh, force that charge 4 exerts on 1 will be along the diagonal of the square. So we'll split this uh, force 4 on 1 into its x and y components, which I've done in blue. And we know that the angle between the net force 4 on 1 and uh, the x component, or the y component, or however you want to, however you choose, will be uh, 45 degrees, because it's a square. So half of the angle in the corner of a square, which is 90 degrees, is 45 degrees. So now we'll go on to plugging everything in. We have the sum of forces in the x equal to 0. So we'll take the x component of 4 on 1 minus the total force of 3 on 1 equal to 0 here. We know that the x component will be equal to the net force of 4 on 1 times the cosine of 45 degrees. That'll give us the x component of the net force 4 on 1. And we'll have that again minus uh, force 3 on 1 all equal to zero. We'll set uh, f time f four on one times cosine 45 equal to f three on one. And now we'll start to plug in our equations. So we have uh, k times q4 times q1 over r41 squared, where r41 is the distance between those two charges, four and one, times the cosine of 45 degrees, equal to k times q3 times q1 over the distance between 3 and 1 squared. Now, what are these distances? Well, the distance between 3 and 1 will just be s, because it's along the sides of the square. And the distance between 4 and 1 will be s root 2. Uh, geometry tells us that the diagonal of a square is given by root 2 times the side length. So we'll plug those in, and we also we can also notice that we have a k on both sides, so that will cancel, and we have q1 on both sides, so that'll also cancel. We plug in our distances, so now we have q4 over s root 2 quantity squared times uh, the cosine of 45 degrees, which is root 2 over 2, equal to q3 over s squared. 
go on to uh, simplify that. So we'll have Q4 over 2s squared times root 2 over 2 equal to Q3 over s squared. We'll combine the left side to give us root 2 over 4 times Q4. And this will be equal to Q3 over 1, right? Here we can cancel the s squareds because they appear on both sides. And now uh, isolating Q4, we get 4 times Q3 over root 2. Now we can plug in our value for Q3, which we know is 3.1 microcoulombs. And in the end, we'll get 8.77 microcoulombs for the value of Q4. Thank you.